Hey, it's Joe Lines from The Automator, and I want to demonstrate this little script. Uh, when I say little, I mean really little that I was working on. Uh, so in, I think, one of the webinars, I demonstrated this tool, which is it's a task manager replacement. And of course, I could right click here and launch task manager. Um, and that is on Windows 10. That is this one. This is uh, set to always be on top. Um, what's happening is what doesn't make sense to me is is this is uh, your in your task manager Windows Explorer is your entire task manager your system tray um, and what was happening was I was getting these icons um, doubling up and stuff and it happens pretty regularly and it's, and it's getting more and more common uh, and I, I think it's something to do with Windows it's just a problem on my computer I um, mean what I would have to do is to come in here um, find Explorer all those things with Google. Um, oh, look, that's interesting. I don't see. How? Interesting. So, how in the world Explorer should be running? I'm pretty sure it's running. It has to be. Yeah, it is. Let me. Um. So, uh, let's close this one. But in the task manager that I have from uh, Auto Hotkey, we can see Explorer here. Now, if I right click on this and restart it restart process, you'll notice everything over here blinks, um, my system tray disappears, comes back, loads up, um, and unfortunately I didn't have an easy way to, I don't know how to trigger that the issue is there, but um, you would have seen it correct itself. Uh, also notice that my start menu disappears, of course, because I'm using, and that's why I have my main script here up, this button clock replaces my start menu with it, and so I'd have to restart auto hotkey after that. And so I said, you know, let me take a couple minutes here to um, not have to use this tool, even though I, I like it um, for task manager, and still, I'm gonna leave it as a hotkey. Let me exit out of it. Uh, so this restart explorer, I looked at this process command, and in process, it says here, you can uh, perform one of the following operations on a process. Checks if it exists, changes its priority. I've played with that before. It didn't really seem to do a lot. Closes it. Hey, that sounds good, right? So I, I did process. Subcommand is close. Here's close. We can jump down there. And then the PID or name, right? And so that's where I just said, hey, you know, let's, let's put in uh, explorer.exe. Now, uh, if I just run this, I'm going to save it. And if I run it... Notice that everything blinks and restarts for me, right? So that's great. But then I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I get, let's go back to here. I'm gonna copy file path, come back to here. And let's, so let's restart this. If I could type run, there we go. Um, save, now when I relaunch this, it should, everything should blink, and then my start menu gets replaced also. That's because I'm restarting. Actually, you'll even see all of these. These are auto hotkeys. Well, this, this one, that's interesting. That happened again. For some reason, it's doubling up. Um, let me let me try it again here. Because there is a single instance force in this script. Boy, it's, it's that's interesting. Somehow it is... Let's make, you know what, let me make sure. Um, where's my single instance force? There it is. Yeah, so I don't understand how, oh, is it just, uh, sometimes your system tray uh, doesn't uh, refresh the icons properly. So let me run this again. Here, we'll see it more than one time, but is it truly running more? It sure looks like it. Interesting. Yeah, I don't understand. Let's put a little sleep here. This shouldn't really matter. Let me X out of one of them, relaunch. Okay, now that time it didn't. Um, I wonder. Okay, that sleep seemed to have, have helped it from maybe while Explorer was restarting, it uh, it couldn't detect it was there and it was launching it. I don't know. That's really interesting. But um, So what I'll do is I will add these into my main script behind a hotkey, and then I can basically, when I see the little issue, I can hit a button, and it's going to do it for me. So uh, that's it. I hope that it helps. Uh, of course, this is with Explorer, but you can use this with anything, right? You could even, I think that command said uh, wait. 
wait for existence. Priority, wait, wait for the specified process to exist. So yeah, you could actually use this to be watching for a given instance of something and then take an action if you, once it's there. So uh, uh, pretty cool stuff. Cheers.